All right, you maggots, listen up. Uh, I can see why the fish tank hobby, our tropical fish hobby, is dying. It's very expensive, and in a lot of cases, it's no longer intuitive. Uh, a person with good common logic uh, will get screwed over. Now, what happened was uh, I decided to buy a new heater for the fish tank. So I went in, and uh, the, the area was roped off. We couldn't get in there. I had to get the salesman over, and he could go in there. There was some type of electrical shock area uh, problem in the area. So he goes in, and I said, I need something for uh, a 20-gallon long. And he pulls us this little tiny thing that fits in the palm of his hand. I said, no, no, it's going to be longer and bigger. I point down below. He pulls out a card. And I said, just read that one real quick to me. And he reads it, and he says, for fish tanks up to 40 gallons. I said, that's it. Is it submersible? Yes, yeah, submersible. So I brought that brand home. I won't mention the brand. I put it in the tank for a half hour, let it stabilize. Plug the plug in. And I saw bubbles coming out by the line cord. And I thought to myself, this can't be good. Now, this heater uh, isn't a glass envelope type heater. It's a solid, some type of epoxy garbage. And it's made in China. And it's got all kinds of electronics in it. And it's, it doesn't turn on and off. Uh, in other words, if you set it for a higher temperature, it'll turn on and off several times in order to get there. It won't stay on. And then until it reaches that temperature, it goes on and off. It misfires. Uh, it's, it's, it, even when it gets to the temperature it's supposed to maintain, it can't do it. So I was worried about maybe the water got in it or whatever. So I went and read the online reviews. And all the negative reviews had all the same complaints I had. Uh, the little knob that you turn to adjust the temperature, it lights up with, a, with an LED. But... Even in a dark room, you can barely see the LED lit up. So you figure, well, I can work around that. And then all of a sudden, uh, the tank got up to temperature. And I checked it a little while longer. It dropped way down. And then I couldn't get the heater to come back on. That was it. It quit. So I go back to the, to the, the pet shop. Now, you got a picture of me catching the bus. And that's actually pr fairly easy, getting the bus here. It's, yeah, I go up to the corner. There it is. Get on it. Stop off at the pet shop, hit it on the way back. Everything sort of goes back. Well, they're, they're working on the bus line now, so they'll probably screw that up on me. But I took the heater back, and the girl didn't complain at all. I said, look, it doesn't work right. I said, it's got all the problems that the, uh, the reviewer said it has. So I said, I just want a different brand. So I go over to the section. Now it's open. You know, I guess they got rid of the electrical shock problem. I go over there, and I look below the one that I bought. And there's another one. It's 100 water. It's directly below. It's a different brand. And I, I take it off the hook and I go over and, I, and the girl says, well, this one's a little bit less. And uh, she gave me money back. I had to give her my card. She gave me money back. I hit the bus, come home, open up the box. And uh, it says, this is not manually adjustable. So you figure, okay, it comes set at a fixed temperature. No. you got to... Have your cell phone talk to it. Now, I don't have that kind of cell phone. Oh, and after you have the cell phone, you have to download the app in order to control the, uh, the fish tank heater. Think about that. That's as bad as, remember that juice squeezer? It had to be hooked to the Internet in order to squeeze the juice. And then people found a way to squeeze the juice faster than the machine. Well, that's the kind of stupidity we got now. Now, uh, imagine someone that just gets into tropical fish, grabs that heater, gets it home. He has a phone, he downloads the app, and then he finds out what all the reviewers found out. It doesn't hold the temperature, it shuts down, it sends alerts to the phone that it's a piece of crap. Okay, that's what it is. That's what we got out there, folks. We got crap. So I I, I just what I did was I just rotated some of my heaters. I have a heater, my nano tank heaters back in the nano tank, and the other heater from the uh, fish tank that was over in here that the guppies originally had is in the big tank and it's it's slowly bringing the the big tank up uh, before I can put the plants in everything you know the, uh, the the flow of the of the filter is so great that it moves the sand all right I put a diverter on it it's still it's still a little wonky by the back of the tank by the back window but I, I'll live with that so it's just this hobby is, is just, it's just work. And I think 
what someone should come out with is a ratio of work work to fun on each hobby. In other words, like fishing. You know, when you finally do catch a fish, uh, that's the fun. But you got to get there, got to get up early. Uh, you don't really have to get up early. But in other words, you get up, you have to drive somewhere, you have to park. Uh, you might have to pay to park. You might have to find a place to park. Then you go fishing. It might start raining on you or the fish aren't biting. But every hobby has its downside. And tropical fish, uh, if you don't really do a lot of reading, uh, you can have uh, things dying for uh, apparently no reason. But in other words, you got to understand the bacteria. you got to do a lot of reading. And you got to get past the beginner stage. And the more reading you do, the faster you get past the, the beginner stage. But, you know, when they, they start selling uh, heaters that have to be controlled by a cell phone. Now, think about that. Uh, three years from now, uh, will the app work on your new cell phone? Well, think about how many things can go wrong. It's the same thing with guys got a refrigerator, and it won't run unless it's hooked to the Internet. It, imagine that. Now, this thing here, if you, when you hold the box and you turn it, you see... It says manual adjustment with a circle around it with an X to it. Who would look for that? I looked at the front of the package. I saw this thing that looked like a little miniature controller. And I'm thinking, oh, cool. I just push a button and it goes through the uh, air and then it, it controls. No. They, they, they shrunk down the, the, the cell phone size so it looks like a little uh, uh, key fob for a car. And and if, if I had even seen that, I, well, anyway, so I got this heater that I can't control. So you go read about the reviews, and the person says, I can't get my phone close enough to it in order to, I says, oh, you've got to be kidding. But supposedly, uh, to, to control the temperature, I think, to set it, and it says tap to set, uh, it's, it's a nightmare, okay? That's what's, this stuff's going to kill the hobby. Now, the real technical people, uh, they're going to love uh, being able to control the speed of their filter from their phone and all that. But the average person that gets into the hobby is just going to say, this is bullshit. Now, I was just watching a YouTube video on why heaters fail so often. And the older ones are still working, but all the newer ones keep failing. So I'm like, okay, I got two older ones that are 10 years old. And uh, hopefully they're one of the better ones. Because all the newer ones crap out. Like that one yesterday. I plug it in and bubbles start coming out. And as an electronic technician, I'm like, no, nah, nah, that ain't going to be good. And then when the light's on telling you it's it's on, it's so, it, you can barely see it. And I have the tank. There's no light in the tank. It's dark. Here's the tank here. It's dark back there. All right? It look, oh, the camera makes it look good. All right, it, trust me, it's dark. But in other words... These fish are swimming around, all nice and happy, and I, 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 I think I'm up about 200 bucks or more now uh, for these guys. So each one of these guppies that are uh, derivatives or family or um, offspring of those fish from t from 10 years ago, uh, they're costing me a lot of money. But I just want to tell you, uh, tropical fish, uh, there are starter kits. And I guarantee you, when you buy a starter kit, you're gonna have a bad, you're gonna have a bad uh, heater. Something's gonna be wrong with the filter. And the other thing too is the, the uh, thermometers that they sell you. They're always off. I mean, by a lot. And what I do is when I go in the store, I look at all the thermometers that are hanging, and you'll see two or three of them way off, just from the temperature of the store. And they're they're the loser ones. They're the ones And, and mentioned about how bad the hobby is. There's so many things going wrong with it. Uh, you know, people say, well, they don't take care of the fish to store. And I, well, that's a that's a personnel problem. That's that's everywhere. But I, I'm just I'm just laughing at I, I you, you have to I won't even show you the plants I bought from eBay. They come in a little tiny plastic bag, no water, no it's they're just stuck in a plastic bag. And that's that's the way the guy sells them to you. And hopefully when I stick them in, when the tank comes up to the right temperature. Uh, I have to practice pushing the uh, gel tabs in with the fertilizer and see if I can push them through the sand without them coming apart. There's, there's still stuff I have to do. 
and I'm hoping uh, by tomorrow afternoon uh, I'll be able to start doing other projects uh, because I know I notice nobody wants to, to see the tropical fish stuff. But if you want to kill uh, a, 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 a YouTube channel, uh, put tropical fish subjects on there. Or model train subjects. And people will, oh, model trains are so. No, they're not. And ham radio, ah, that's another dead one. It's dying. All the old old people are dying off. And the younger kids, they want excitement. Go look at the go look at the videos that uh, get uh, thousands of views. They promise big things and deliver nothing. And I don't know how much longer that's going to go on. Where you you click on a thumbnail, it promises you something. And it's just a, a, a recording, someone else's video reversed, like in a mirror. So the, uh, the algorithm, the thing won't, that checks videos to see if they're duplicates, uh, won't, won't be able to tell it. it's, it's someone else's video. I think that's it. All right, that's it. Oh, he's still complaining.